Hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Now this question here says that uh, this question was at 2021. So four friends Ashish, Brian, Chaitra, and Dorothy. That let's read as A, B, C, and D. Uh, decide to jog for 30 minutes inside a stadium with circular running track. That is 200 meters long. Okay, so you can make here a circular running track that is some 200 meters long. Okay, the friends run at different speeds. Ashish completes a lap. Uh, that is A completes the lap exactly every 60 seconds. Okay, uh, B, C, and D complete a lap exactly every one minute 30 seconds. That means let's write the time here. So A would take 60 seconds. Okay, uh, B would take one minute 30. That is 90 seconds. So B would take 90 seconds. Uh, C would take uh, 40 seconds. Okay, C would take 40 seconds and uh, D would take 1 minute 20 that is 80 seconds. So D would take 80 seconds here, right? Now the friends begin to start, start line exactly at 4 p.m. So they have started exactly at 4 p.m. from some point, obviously same point, right? So it started from just 4 p.m. What are the total number of laps the friends have, would have completed when they next cross the starting line together? Okay. So see, obviously, uh, what you need to see here that what is the time when uh, all of them will be at the starting line, you know? So basically, uh, this uh, I, I need to take the LCM for this data. Why? Why? Because A is coming at the starting line in every 60 seconds. So A is coming in every 60 seconds. B is covering in every 90 second. C is covering in every 40 second, and D is covering in every 80 second. Right? For example, A can come. A will first come at 60, then 120, then 180 like that. Anna. B will come at 90, then 180, then 270 like that, right? So basically, in every 60 second, 90 second, 40 and 80, they will be, uh, they will keep coming at the starting point, right? So basically, they would be again at the start line after. So I can take that. They'll be again at the start line at after. They will take the LCM versus data LCM, 60, 90, 40 and 80. Its LCM will be equal to 720 seconds, correct? So I hope you can take the LCM easily. It's nothing, uh, nothing uh, major here. Yeah, simply 40 and 80. Its LCM is 80, 90 and 60. Uh, its LCM will be 180, obviously. And 180 and 80, you need to see. So 180 and 80, it's uh, quite simple. You can observe that. What is 180 here? Uh, 180 and 80, you need to see it here. Okay. So basically, you need to just see that uh, this is both the multiples of 20. This is 20 into 9, and this is 20 into 4. I am taking LCM. LCM means lowest common, common multiple. So 20 would be common here and 9 and 4 its LCM will be 36. So 20 into 36 will be equal to 720. So 720 is the LCM. Fine. Okay. So now uh, 720 seconds will be actually it actually means 12 minutes, right? And uh, that means uh, at 4 p.m. they started. So at 4 12 they all will be together. That's the point here. Okay. In 720 seconds, Ashish would have completed 12 laps. Correct, right? Anna? So let's see Ashish here. So Ashish is covering every 60 seconds. So I can say that in this uh, 720 seconds, how many laps A would have completed? So for uh, 720 seconds by 60. So A would have completed 12 laps, obviously. And a laps means one complete uh, round here. Okay. Now B would have in 720 seconds. B would have completed 720 by 90 that is equal to 8 laps in this 720 second C will be, would have taken 720 by 40 that is equal to uh, 18 laps correct and D would have taken 720 by 80 that is equal to 9 laps Anna? because uh, for example A is covering 1 lap in 60 second so till the next time after 720 second in those 720 second A can take 12 laps Similarly, uh, for B, C and D. So uh, the question here is, what is the total number of laps? Okay, they would have completed huh? uh, before the, uh, before when they start next crosses turn in together. So what is the total number of laps here? Just again, just add these values. 12 plus 8, 20 plus 18, 38 plus 9, 47. So 47 is the answer for this question. Yeah, okay.